capo is something every guitarist should have. You've got to have a capo. It's a piece of equipment that is really handy. Sometimes uh, music is written in a certain key and it's um, really hard to play. If it's like in the key of B major or F sharp, then you can use a capo. Like if it's, let's say it's in the key of B major and you'd have all these, you know, the chords would be B and F sharp and then uh, E over there. And then all the minors, it gets really hard. A lot of bar chords you're going to use. But if you've got the capo, you put it on. Like in this instance, it's in the second fret. So I'm playing A, but it's in the key of B. So I transpose all my music. I take the sheet of music, I transpose it. You've got to learn how to transpose songs. And I transpose it to the key of A. But with my capo on second fret, I'm thinking A chords. I'm playing A chords, but the band would be in the key of B. B, and we'd, we'd know we'd echo um, the same song. We'd, it'll be just a complementary um, sound. So it's a very handy thing to use. The other use of a capo is if you're two guitar players and one would, let's say, play in the key of E over here, open chord, E, and you want to do something complementary to the other player. You could transpose, again, the music. So let's say it's in the key of E and... Um, I transpose it down to the key of D because what it would then mean is if I take D there and I move it up to the fourth fret, this D shape, I'm in the key of E. So I put my capo on two and because I'm in the key of E but I'm thinking D chords, playing D chords, it adds another color and flavor to the song. So there's my E and the other guy's playing this E. Same chord but different tonality. So a very handy thing to have. Um, but yeah, uh, the last thing I might just say is how to put it on. I find you've got to have one that's got good tension and you have these adjustable knots where you can tighten it or loosen it if it's too tight. Um, guitars have a different thickness over here, so it depends on the thickness of your guitar. Steel string, uh, it typically has a standard one for nylon guitars. You need a, a clamp on one. A longer it's usually got a longer uh, rather wider neck um, yep and then I find it helpful to put it on close to the fret really close to the fret not on it but close to it don't put it in the middle like that but bring it close and see that it's parallel you don't want to have it be at an angle like that uh, it looks messy and it's probably gonna bend the strings differently so bring it close to the fret I have found that as I move up sometimes it'll sharpen some of the high E string notes. Um, if you're going to play a lot of songs with the capo on, I would actually tune. Once it's on, I would tune and check my tuning. Yeah, and just keep in mind, if you tune, if you want to check your tuning, if you tune that, you can tune with this on, it'll work. But the notes are different that you're looking for on your tuner. Um, if I start from the bottom up, this would be now an F sharp, that would be um, C sharp, and then of course A, um, E, B and F sharp again, um, or anywhere else you put it, you just got to adjust accordingly.